I want to welcome you back to Dream Chasers Radio with me, your host, Yaya Diamond. What's up? Yeah, that's what I'm going through right now with the Amazon Prime. <laughs> uh, okay, but I got that out of the way. I'll be right back. Don't you go nowhere. I have a great show for you. I did to be different. 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 I did. I did. I did. I did. I did. I Welcome back to the show, guys. Oh my gosh, yes, I have a wonderful show for you today. Yes! Oh my gosh, you can get us an Amazon Fire right now, but we are working on Amazon Prime. We will have select shows up there. Don't forget to tune into our pigeon documentary. I know it sounds funny, but people are paying millions of dollars for a pigeon. Y'all, y'all gotta, y'all gotta watch this. I'm, I'm not kidding you. I'm not kidding you. All right, so you can get us on uh, uh, YouTube, Vimeo, Roku, Amazon Fire, soon to be Amazon Prime, Deezer, TuneIn, Facebook, Instagram. I mean, we're everywhere, you guys, so you can get us everywhere. So um, for the most part, just go ahead and like us on YouTube and just keep going from there. We're, we're doing great on YouTube. Thank you. Keep liking the page. But until next time, guys, I'm going to say bye. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Today, I want to welcome an author, someone who is beautiful, and she's on my show and she's mine for right now so go ahead and tell everybody who you are and what you do please hello 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 my name is haven turner i am a life coach and a self-help author and the title of my debut book is release all in love and trust mental strategies with physical solutions Woo, child release Yes, we don't lose. What you lose, you can find. So we're no longer losing things. We're going to release. We're going to release that mental weight so we can see that fine figure. Oh, well, I don't know about the fine figure. I'm trying to find that right now. <laughs> okay. No, 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 no. Look, for real, for real. Yes, you are. Because, and I put it in a section in the book, and it's titled, Trophy is Decoration, Not Size. And that was one of the biggest things that I learned post weight release, trophy, mm -hmm. decoration, not size. So no matter what pounds, physical pounds currently are adorning your frame, you're still a decoration. You're still a trophy. So it doesn't matter your size and mm -hmm. trophy is decoration. Wonderful. I like that. Trophy is decoration. So I'm decorated. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I yes. love it. I love it. So why did you write the book? Tell me about this. I mean, you know, the process by which you figured out I need to write this. Well, um, in the, well, it's, it, look, cat got my tongue. I'll get it back. <laughs> so um, the book was actually birthed because I am a former classroom educator. And mm -hmm. so at the end of my five year reign as an elementary teacher, mm -hmm. I was um, coming up against some serious medical issues. Like I felt my body saying, hey, no, 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 you're mm -hmm. about to tap out of here. You're about to tap out of here. So mm -hmm. what ended up happening was I resigned from teaching because it was a major medical issue. Mm -hmm. And so I was going to resign anyway, but once my body started pounding and kicking on me, so then I knew it was time to go. So when I resigned, I had this time on my hands. And that's when the miracle of love came my way and the floodgates opened and I was just downloaded with all this information. And mm -hmm. one of the things, and I said I was going to put it in book number two, was mm -hmm. that I had to realize was that like you're a witch and take out the W and put a B. And so a lot of my behaviors mm -hmm. and a lot of my beliefs was producing obesity. So mm. it not only produced obesity on my physical frame, I was over overweight with dealing with people. I was overweight in how I handled my finances. Mm. But one, one fact, and I even did share this in the book, I used to work six days a week and did not know how much money I made. 
fact, fact. So it was like time. It was beyond time for me to stop, stop every single thing that I was doing and listen to my higher power. From there, that's when those false beliefs, those <clears throat> strong and, and nasty thoughts and everything, I started paying attention to them and immediately releasing them, immediately releasing it, them. Mm -hmm. And then that's when my physical pounds just literally melted off. Mm -hmm. Now, um, I will say because naturally I d was able to release over 80 pounds. So mm -hmm. I will say that I'm not going to sit up here and say that like, I just started and the weight was released. So I did, I did, um, there was a neighborhood park, and so I did walk that park um, a minimum three times a week. Also, there's a very long um, paved sidewalk that was uh -huh. a former place, so I made sure that I walked that. Um, one thing that I do stress is that eat healthy, eat whatever you want. Portion control is your best friend, okay? Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. is your best friend so i do not want to sit up here and be like hey as long as you think positive and release all, <laughs> all <laughs> that stuff, <laughs> then you're gonna be looking like beyonce you're gonna have a body like no 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 um and speaking of a section i put in the book i do have one section that's called payment up front please. And, mm -hmm. um, and it's talking about how the universe does require payment up front. Mm -hmm. And we can all be laced with excellent intentions. But if we have no physical or mental activity, no push forward and toward that goal, no dice, you won't see, you won't see that. Wow. Yeah, it's so true. It's so true. That is so true. You know, I, I was I was thinking about that too because think about it. When I was young, right? You know, I used to be so active. You know, little kids are so active. It's like they're little jumping beans. They eat very little, and they jump all day long. Right. So we as adults think about it. We as adults look at the little kids and go, "Man, I wish I had that body. I wish you know." Or the teenagers because they're always walking. They're walking. They're walking. They're walking to class. They're sitting down. They're standing up. They're dancing. They're doing this. They're doing that. They're doing this. They eat one time, and yeah. then they keep going. They do da, 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 and then they'll eat one more time, and that's it. Now us adults, we sit down. We got our chips. We got yeah. our movie. We got our dip. The next mm -hmm. thing you know, we're back in the refrigerator. We're not moving. We're going from the refrigerator to the couch, to the couch, to the bathroom, to the couch, back to the bathroom, back to the, you know, and, 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 and that's, that's, our, that's our exercise. So we right. need to get, you know, that body back. Mm. But that body came because we were so active and ate so little. Right. You know what I mean? Also, too, when you were a child, you were, you loved life. You got to jump off of couches. You got to tell the, 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 unfunniest knock knock jokes you were asked what your favorite color was you were asked mm -hmm. what you um wanted to be when you grew up you were um you know told funny jokes you were able to jump on a bed and um you mm -hmm. make it pop but a little rhythm or a rhyme was added to it so there's another thing too to the child aspect that i'm glad that you brought up that we have to do now as adults and mm -hmm. it is that childlike mindset in the sense of what do you love? And one thing that I wrote about in the book, and, and I'm glad that you brought it up with kids, and it's titled, Get a Hobby, Why Don't You? And we mm -hmm. have to get back to those childlike things. We have to get back to, you know what? Um, Amazon Prime is giving me a hard time. I'm jumping on the bed today, and I'm going to sing my favorite song mm -hmm. um, when I was a child from when I you know, would get down and encourage, or you know what, today, I'm going to put some eyeshadow on. Uh -huh. You know what, today, I'm going to mm -hmm. try some funky lipstick because I love me so. Hey, so, I saw yeah. some funky lipstick at the mall, too. Yes, yeah. <laughs> there you go, there you go. Uh -huh. Even more childlike and do yourself a favor and see if they got a coupon code for that um, lipstick that you hey. <laughs> so it's also, too, about setting ourselves up for success. Mm -hmm. And one thing that, like, we 
now get to see as adults it was like who are you to love yourself who are you to go and start your own radio show um who are you to be happy who are you and you know as a woman it gets even worse think about how many times a day you actually apologize for something myself included and you don't Mm -hmm. know why you just don't even know to walk past somebody you walk oh excuse me i'm sorry wait Oh, I apologize. Can you hand me my water? Oh, I apologize. I'm walking here. Oh, I mean, we just, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, thank you. Please forgive me. Please forgive me. The countless, countless, countless times, especially as women. And even when we get into it as black women, Woo! all things we apologize no. for. No. Oh my gosh, no. Mm. Black women, <laughs> boys, you know, we going left and right we all fighting pulling out the hair wig going that way braids going this way come on i've seen it well one thing that i will say and this is only post weight release this is only post weight release that those type of situations we have to see our own healing and growth that's necessary Mm -hmm. and I mean, from in the sense of like, I used to be like, if it was me, I wouldn't be up there um, pulling hair. And if I had this and I wouldn't that, and then only to realize and to discover, no, no, baby, that's you. You, It's just coated in this color. It's just looking like this. And I'm gonna share right. um, a story with you. So for example, growing mm-hmm. up and everything, and it was only hurt, anger, and fear. It was mm. like, I don't want kids. I don't want kids. And then I thought I was going to be smart and say, uh, <clears throat> I don't want kids until I'm 40 years old. How okay. Can I beat the system and everything. Mm-hmm. That's what, baby, that's exactly what I got. And that's exactly what I didn't want. In the terms of that was hurt, anger, and resentment, and shame, and doubt, and fear. Just speaking, and I'm going to share a very interesting story. So with Instagram and everything, you know, I follow some awesome awesome women Mm -hmm. so a young lady that i follow you know she had put up a post that said something to the effect and i'm paraphrasing that says some of you guys are going to be 38 with a two-year-old right and so right right so i laughed and just tagged my friends and i said um and you're gonna be right along with me you're gonna have a 20 year old and a three year old <laughs> you're gonna have a right you're gonna have an 18 year old and a one year old mm. queen let me tell you she had to repost that it was a joke her time the the comment section ate her alive how dare you say this this is insensitive how could you this this and that how could you this and that and it was nothing but her anger and resentment talking mm. before pre weight release. I would have left a comment like that. I would mm-hmm. say, and it was just like it lets us see the hurt and the anger and the rage mm-hmm. that we are not addressing as black women. Right. At the end of the day, I fell in love with myself. Not only did I want kids and want them before forty, I didn't mind being a breeder. Like to me, I'd be like, why in the world? And this was pre weight release. Why would somebody have? five or six kids or why this and that or like why would this like have those or see people with 11 kids like why in the world would you have that many and then it was like when i fell in love with myself and be clear i don't want no no seven to 11 kids no 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 (laughs) what i'm saying is that i had to acknowledge the hurt anger and resentment that was within me and how i was allowing hurt and, and and forms of not putting skin in the game for my life to say, I don't want kids. And I don't want it till I was 40 years old. And, and, and it's just like, none of that is true. Mm-hmm. We weren't taught love and we weren't taught self-love. And so it was just like eye opening and jaw dropping when I saw all the comments and she had to go back and do a post like, hey, it was a joke. I'm 36 with no kids myself. It was a joke, Mm -hmm. you know, Mm -hmm. and it's just Mm -hmm. like, whoa, you have to know that if you're lighting up a comment section like that and putting that whole, how dare you? And as a, that's hurt, anger and resentment. You got to go back in. Mm -hmm. You got to go back and you 
address some things you yeah. have to do because I've had to cry out to my higher power. Oh, I, I apologize. I was wrong. I mm -hmm. wanted to. I wanted to. Right. Then, um, now, you know, and, <clears throat> and one thing that I do love and that I do say is that restoration is real and death is the, the, the physical death as far as somebody that's transitioned to another world or if you mm -hmm. believe that a person goes to heaven or if you believe that a person is, um, you know, lying, laying in the grave, whichever the proper time to say it. Mm -hmm. I, I agree with you. However you believe, I allow a person to believe. Um, what I want to say that unless you're dead, it's not too late. Restoration right. is real. I don't care if you've had a hysterectomy. I don't care if everybody you've met from A to Z has <laughs> said that you could never do a radio show, write a book, be a teacher, be a black queen, um, wear your hair yes, in a bun, right. wear your hair in individual braids. You know, it's like it is not too late. And right. if you feel hurt, if you want to cry, 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 then you're headed in the right direction. Mm -hmm. If you are like, what the world? This goes e against every single thing that I was taught. You're mm -hmm. headed in the right direction. You're headed. Right. In, yeah. Yeah, definitely. You know, I was taught that, you know, self-worth and self-love, very young age. And I knew that I wanted to have all my kids before 30. Because what? there's no way that I was going to be 50 years old with a little kid. I did not want that. I was like, my 50th birthday, which is coming up, I'm taking myself out. Well, not, I'm ahead of the game, yourself. baby. I'm ahead of the game. I'm ahead of the game. I take myself out every month. I love me. I love my company. I love who I've become. Um, I love the fact that, yeah, a lot of people said what is podcasting? What the heck is that? And I'm like, it's, it was only two years old when I started. And I was like one of the, you know, within that first two years. And it's like, uh, yeah, I'm going to do a podcast. What is, it, what is that? You, what do you want to be a host or some kind of a mm -hmm. media person? I said, no, I'm just me. I just want to find other people that are doing things. And so I started Dream Chasers in 2006. Nah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hey. Yeah. So, I mean, I know that, I know that, I know that anger, I know that, that resentment that people feel when you're trying to do something. And I know that you can hold that against yourself as well. So yes. it, it, can be, mm -hmm. it can be really, really um, detrimental to your health. <laughs> yes. And then think about too, back to what you were saying about the podcast. Mm -hmm. Now mm -hmm. think about if you had listened to people, mm. think about that. Now, I read not too long ago, do you know, not only Spotify, iHeartRadio has okay. made like a hundreds of millions of dollar investment just recently. And guess what? Podcasting. You now, you you don't have to get ready because you are ready. Mm -hmm. so, I have an iHeartRadio station there. I do. Get out. Yeah. See? See? And, and look, what if you thought that, like, excuse me, I keep on scratching my nose and I keep on saying stop. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> but what if you have been like, well, um, I kind of want to, like, talk to people and this, and I kind of, it's kind of like a, no. And then another thing, and I even put it in a book, we have to realize Puff started Bad Boy in his mother's basement. Yes. Meaning you have to go for it. You just mm -hmm. have to go for it. That's it. Period, period. So I love how you use the example of podcasting because it's just like, what is that? And real talk is black women, all of us need to be podcasting. Mm -hmm. All of us because we yes. got a lot to say. We have yes. a lot to say. Go yes. ahead on and focus that energy channel, that energy where you not only get to heal and express yourself, but you get to monetize. Mm -hmm. Because another thing that we were taught that wealth is nasty. Oh no, darling. Oh. I'm into the oh no, no. We go ahead, go we, ahead. Go we ahead. we got it. We 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 you, squash that one. Wealth is not nasty. <laughs> wealth um, is a okay. tool. Right, Definitely well, a tool. you are mean, you're e evil, you had to tell mm. your soul to the devil, mm. um, <laughs> you know, if you got it, it was this way, um, you know, just certain Make my eyes squint. Right. 
<laughs> right. Right. Wow. Well, is all of this stuff in your book? Is everything in your book that people can go ahead and go get it? Where can they get it? Yes, yes. Okay, so you can go to Amazon.com. You can go to um, Barnes and Noble um, dot com. It is available. Um, <clears throat> Of course, you know, if you didn't ask me, I would have been able to run off the whole list. But iTunes, um, Google Books, your fine book retailers and most major fine book re retailers. I'm also um, requesting that you, as well as your viewers, go into your local library and request a copy and say, hey, I'm ready to release my physical pounds because I've been losing them. And um, I'm actually not just my physical pounds, my mental pounds so would mm. you please order um you know would your library please purchase and order this book so that's another avenue where i'm inviting people but amazon.com barnes and noble um right. kindle, kindle, kindle ebook lovers is also available so um, um also i have a goal that i'm hitting and reaching for and one of your favorite favorite stores so i'll tell you in a moment or i'll come back and i hit you up and let you know when it's on their shelves but definitely i also have one of our favorite stores that we all especially as women and black women love to consume so that's one of my goals that i'm manifesting so you may be able to even go to your like hmm <laughs> so I'm manifest now. But no, it is all in the book. And here's what I want you guys to know. It is a very easy read. And I purposely made it an easy read because the content is heavy. Okay, because you. you're diving in because you're diving in from something with, that happened when you were three years old and you could be 40 or coming up on 50 and you're still wrestling with it. Or one thing like that I want to do is remain funny because, mm -hmm. and, and keep it very light because this is heavy content. Yeah, like, definitely. Things where I've been walking around toting and believing, like literally I put in the book and I used to believe that tall men only like short women. I believe I'm five, <laughs> I'm five right. Right. You see that? You see that? Yeah. And I explained that in the book and was just crushed and hurt. That like, oh my gosh. You know, and I even put in the book out, I was taller than majority of my play aunties by the time I was in the fourth or fifth grade. No lie. No lie. Right. So, you know, go ahead, babe. Go ahead, Queen. We're, we're going to go ahead and put all that information in the description box below because oh, she yeah. she going to keep talking and it's, it's going to give away the entire book and then you're oh. not going to be able to buy it because you're going to already know it. So we're going <laughs> to... And we're going we're gonna to think, what is that one place that everybody likes to go to? Hmm. I'm going to pray for that. I'm going to pray for Thank that. Thank you. And I'm I praying for that, that that will happen, that that will manifest in your life and that all of us will be able to see it in that yes. one special place that we all like to go. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Well, I want to thank you so much. We're going to have all of your information, you. all of our contact you. information will be in the description box below. All you have to do is click on it and it'll take you straight there. Yeah, um, thank you. This has been time well spent. I truly appreciate it. And I love to see other black queens making it happen and inspiring us to step out there. That's I right. I heard some from you as well. A uh, new podcaster, when it was, you know, when you stepped out there as well as like, hey, wait, don't give all your book away. So you, I've, this has been time well spent and I've learned from you as well. That's right. So, I thank That's you right. so much, Queen, and much, much, much success to you. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you guys so much for tuning in to Dream Chasers Radio. And don't forget to what? Dare to be a little different? No, just dare to be different. See you later. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. Mm -hmm. I'm